Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another State of Jailbreak video. Uh, so today I want to go ahead and give you guys a big update. The iPhone dev team has just released the latest update to Ultra Snow. Um, basically this update allows you to go ahead and unlock your iPhone 3G, your iPhone 3GS, and the latest firmware and the latest baseband. Uh, now I know this is going to be really helpful for a lot of you guys who you know got caught out accidentally upgraded or for whatever reason you know you're uh, you're on a new firmware and new baseband and you cannot unlock um, however this is going to be a little bit of a different unlock it's not going to be you know just the standard you know jailbreak uh, you know run ultra snow it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that um, so basically this actually is well huge first of all huge props to the iPhone dev team for finding this for coming up with a really cool idea um, instead of just you know doing the standard you know finding an exploit and all that kind of good stuff basically they're going to go ahead and allow you to take the baseband from the iPad 3G. So you can actually go ahead and take that baseband, put it on your iPhone, and then on Ultra Snow. Uh, kind of sounds crazy, but it actually will work just fine. You don't have to worry about it because they do have practically identical parts. Um, but, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a different uh, unlock. So let me go ahead and tell you some of the cons of doing this. Um, the first thing, there's not going to be any way to go ahead and downgrade. So if there's any kind of new uh, updates to the baseband that helps, you know, if you have any issues or whatever, you're not going to be able to get them until Apple go ahead, goes ahead and increases the baseband uh, beyond the current version that you're going to do. A little complicated, I know, so you definitely don't need to be, you know, you need to be at least uh, fairly, you know, well versed in basebands and unlocking all that kind of stuff to do this because there's some things you definitely have to pay attention to. Um, another thing is, is that after 4.2.1, once you do this and you have the unlock, you're never going to be able to restore to normal firmware. Um, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, you know, you can't go ahead and restore to a standard firmware. What you'll need to do is you can only restore to custom IPSWs using either Snowbreeze, or I believe Snowbreeze, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it will be Snowbreeze and at least Ponage Tool. Um, so that's definitely a fairly big downside. However, if, like I said, if you're currently unlocked or you really need to be unlocked, uh, you know, this is probably going to be your only option for the moment. Um, so the way you're going to do this is fairly simple. Um, I, of course, will have all the download links, uh, everything you need in the description of this video. Um, you're going to need to go ahead and download the iPad IPSW file. And this is really key. You need to download this almost immediately. Um, Apple could take this down at any time, and then you are going to be pretty much out of luck. You won't be able to download the iPad IPSW. So, again, go ahead and check it out. Everything's in the description. Uh, download the IPSW file. Then you're going to need to run Ponage Tool. Uh, now, of course, Ponage Tool is Mac only for the moment, so if you do have a Windows computer, you're going to need to go ahead and wait for Red Snow. Uh, now, I've heard that Red Snow will probably be out today, so odds are by the time you watch this video, I will also have a link to Ultra, uh, to rather Red Snow in the description. Um, after that, you can go ahead and just run them through and then install Ultra Snow. So once you do that, it's going to be fairly simple. However, do keep in mind that there are some fairly big downsides to this. So only do this if you absolutely need to have your unlock. You know, if you're already unlocked and you're not having any issues, definitely do not do this. You know, you're, you just wait for some other way to update. Um, I really don't recommend that. The only way I do is if you really need your unlock today and you're on the latest baseband. Um, so anyway, guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys a full update on what's all going on here.